Hello guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you the cool Photoshop text effect. That effect right there. Oh yes, girls and guys. Okay, so I opened a canvas of rather large size, um, but any size will be fine. Um, depends on how big of text you're using for the effect, um, or whatever. So, um, what I did first of all is I double clicked on the background layer and made it layer zero, so we can work with it and add a granite overlay and all that. So double click layer zero and add a granite overlay and um, select two colors of rather the same hue, kind of like what I have here. Um, you can choose, use my two colors I've used, um, I'm showing you the numbers here, um, but you can also feel free to use your own two hues or two colors you want. Anything will work with this, I promise. So those were my two colors. I changed it to linear, um, like that. So and I change the um, angle a bit and then just click OK and you're all straight up good for now so after I've done that um, I'm going to go over here onto the tool selection and select the type tool and I'm going to proceed to type my text I am choosing the word jazz because well I just like that word <laughs> or maybe because it's in my tutorial name <laughs> okay well anyway um, you can change uh, this, I'm changing my color to white. I'm not even sure why, because really you're not going to see the white color because it's going to get changed anyway in the effects we're going to do next. So, yeah, I'm just moving into center, centering it. Yeah, okay, so. There we go. Um, and really, there was just no point in changing the color. I'm not even sure why I did that, but I did. So, oh well. Then, when you have your text all done, double click on the text layer. And you're going to add a inner shadow. Um, add these effects as shown here. Um, you change the opacity, distance, change the opacity and the distance, and the angle. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Now click on drop shadow and change the distance and the size. And then you're going to select this color right here for your drop shadow color. Yep, that one right there. Once you got it going on, then you can click OK and be on that color screen. Yep, that color. The 5, E, 6, yeah, that one. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. Then you're going to go over and select the granite overlay for your tax layer. <coughs> Excuse me. And you're going to just change it to a dark hue. Use the uh, uh, the thing, the dropper tool, and select your background, one of your background hues, and then just use um, a darker shade of that background, like I'm showing you here. Um, I would show you my color numbers, but they're going to be different for everyone's background, so I figure why the hell not. Anyway, that's what I got there. So change the angle to a negative 90, and then. And you're basically good. There you go. That's the effect. Um, yours will probably be different than mine because you're going to use probably different colors than I am. But here you go. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, subscribe, comment, and like.